Hey guys, Paul here. Um, I'm going to give you a quick demo on how to lock down your website. Uh, a few people ask, a lot of people do membership plugins, a lot of people um, are trying to lock certain pages down. But if you just want to, this is if you just want to lock your, your website down to, to make it a private site, right? So we're going to use this plugin, My Private Site. Download that plugin. So what that does is just shows the WordPress login page whenever someone comes to your site. So I'll do it on my training site. So if I go to my training area, so I have a I have a WordPress plugin that manages the login and the signups and um, the email stuff sort of like that. But if I just wanted it to make it a private training where people I had to assign users to the um, to training, I'm just going to go to plugins. Add new. Everything's a little slow on a Friday morning. Choose file, install it. So you'll see if I go to a different browser, obviously what we've just seen, this is if someone's not logged in, it currently shows a login, a register. You know, they can browse around it needs fixing actually. They've just updated this plugin and it's cracked. It's crashed the um, the training courses, so I need to quickly fix that. After this, activate plugin. Come on. I wonder if that put yeah they uploaded updated uh, the plugin. Maybe it slowed the site down too. Right, so uh, private is not turned off settings my private site is turned off you go down blah 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 this plugin is currently disabled turn it on membership is set that anyone can register reveal registration page do not block wordpress standard registration so if you didn't want people to register so if i go back to here now and refresh it uh it will redirect me to the login page, but it will leave the registration page open. Whereas if you turn registration off, if you was managing uh, registration, then you would untick that and not let people, you can say where they're gonna go after, after they've logged in. So you're gonna go to their site home or the page they were looking at, or you want to put them in a certain place. Uh, you can change that custom login page if you want to mess about but that's really all you have to do you can tinker with the settings um, I've just turned registration off so I'm not sure if it'll because you can still register on that site uh, it still says register contact Paul should we go back to oh no that's on my website this should go back to the login page yeah, I think that registers is because of the site you probably have to go to settings and change it, but I can't be bothered to change everything. But you can see that, sorry, that's how you quickly lock down your site. Um, so if you want to put it into maintenance or you've just got, like I have, you've got a main site, which is paulnicholson.com, and then you've got an offshoot sub-site, which for me is training.paulnicholson.com. Come and check it out. I'll get it working. Um that's how quickly to, to lock down your website. Any questions, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching and see you all again soon.